it's not really the name for it, is already 20 years old. And it's something that's so much fun to plant with your kids and grandkids and watch the magic happen. So Derek, tell us all about it. Well, in the art of feng shui from, the, from Asia, it's described by the masters that this plant, the totem pole plant, represents health, longevity, well-being in any home that it's placed. Mm -hmm. And we've realized that practically because, like you mentioned, my great-grandmother in 1964 introduced the totem pole to the, the World's Fair in New York City. And when she brought it, uh, you know, the totem pole was about this thick around maybe like a dollar, a gold, a half a dollar, dollar or something. Yeah. Cent piece. Okay. But over time, our, our fields got older, our fields got bigger. We're able to bring a house plant, which is going to live for 20 to 30 years. But in fact, what you're bringing home right out of the box is already 20 to 30 years old. Wow. This is so special because what you're getting is a literal intersection of a 20 to 30 year old tree. And when you get it home, it's going to be ready to live for you for another a couple decades. So there's going to be wax at both ends of this, what looks like a cutting from a tree. And the red wax, you're going to take a pocket knife or something, butter knife, and scrape off the wax, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what's fun to do with the kids. Yeah. So you scrape off, not the green at the top, but the red at the bottom. And then you simply put it in a container of water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you because the thing is, this is a great project. If you have kids or grandkids, you want to get them into gardening. I mean. Everyone's a techie these days, but you need some touch of Mother Earth That's in right. your life. I agree. So when you bring, when you get it home, you know you have your uh, your grandkids or your kids <coughs> or even yourself. It's a great home project. You get a little glass or bowl of water, and you s put your totem pole inside. And in six weeks, you're gonna ideally start to see some roots or leaves. Even if you don't, you put it into a pot of your liking, and leave it there for the rest of its life. You can also, you know, you control the size of the plant by the size of the pot. That's what's so great. But we're looking at a house plant that can live in a subterranean cave where your television is in your basement. Can also live on a beautiful uh, kitchen table in a completely sunlit dining room. Right. So it can go anywhere in the house. Summer do summertime, you can bring it outdoors. It's a multi-use, multi-purpose plant that you only water once a month because it holds all of its water inside its thick trunk. So show them the one that's sprouting because this is going to happen rather quickly. It's not going to take years for you to get, this plant grows very quickly. So how long did it take to get those leaves at the top and those roots at the bottom? So this was six weeks soaking it in water. Okay. Okay. Now in another six weeks, you're going to have a tree that looks just like the one in front of me. So that's, that's about three months. Yeah. Three, three months, months old, that's it. pretty big already. Oh, yeah, and it's beautiful. I mean, people love that spark of life inside their house, a living plant. It produces oxygen, takes in the carbon dioxide. But you know what? When you have it on a kitchen table, when you have it anywhere in the house, it's, it can be a centerpiece of discussion. And it will. It really will bring that longevity, well-being, and peace energy into any room that it's put in. And here's the growth progression. You can see six weeks after you get it, then another six weeks like that. And surprisingly, this is our field in Costa Rica. For many years, my dad told me that he used to go there as a kid. You can see how big it is and cut these totems to bring back to America. And wow. he said how hard it was. And you know, I have to go there at some point. He actually never did that. He was just telling me to make him sound like Aww, he was this really good like guy. Indiana Jones. He really did sell him door to door when he was a child, but he never went to Costa Rica. And, but I could see little Kevin Walleen, like the little fuller brush guy, ding dong, excuse me, ma'am, would you like to buy this? And the lady probably said, what is that, a tree branch? And then he would launch into this whole story of, why no, it's a totem pole plant, yep. and here's why it's special. Now, it's also really great if, you, if you're into all of the sort of feng shui and uh, you know, sort of a great uh, aura for your home. Uh, the feng shui traits of this plant are peacefulness, longevity, and good health. So it's an excellent gift to give to someone in your family or a coworker or your boss or you know, a housewarming gift or any of those kinds of things too. Yeah, there are totem poles out there in the country, but when you get them, they're not gonna be the size of firewood. They're gonna be really tiny, they're gonna be short and thin. Yeah. What we're giving everyone is so special. This is a 20 to 30 year old log 
all of its life is stored inside right now. It's not dead. When you get it home, you'll scrape off the wax on the red side with a knife, mm -hmm. and then you'll soak it in water for six weeks. This is such a great uh, you know, DIY project for your kids or your grandkids or even yourself if you're you know, having trouble getting around or you just want to have a beautiful house plant that's yeah. so low maintenance. I mean, some house plants like African violets, they're African violets are not low maintenance. You have to water them quite regularly. This is once a month, yeah. but you and, have beautiful and I know leaves. A lot of folks who are really good with gardening are not really good with house plants because of that very reason. It takes a whole different type of technique and know-how. This is a no-brainer, and really all the key is is t scraping off the red wax at the bottom, putting it in a water container for six weeks, watch it sprout from the top and the bottom, and then you can plant it. And you don't need a giant flower pot. These are very happy in a smaller pot that doesn't take up a lot of, as we say, real estate inside your home. It's, if mm -hmm. you've got a smaller uh, room that you want to put these in or a smaller apartment, these are absolutely perfect. Yeah, and don't forget, these live for 20 to 30 years after you get so them. Yeah, so they're already 20 so. years old when you get them. They're going to live another 20 to 30 years after that. Yeah, this is a really great house plant. You can put it anywhere. Give it to your friends if you uh, get tired of it or buy more than one and yeah. give them as gifts. But everyone will remember you for a long time because they live for a long time. So just to let you know, we have fewer than 1,200 now left to go around for the entire season. These are a super great gift. So get them for the kids and grandkids to have fun with you at your house. Send them to their house. It's a project they can work on you know, at, by themselves and learn about gardening. This is also something that is a super good gift for a gardener or anyone who is just hard to buy for. You know, and again, you don't need to even have a sunny window. This can go in a room with no windows whatsoever. It will live off of, you know, a lamp yeah, or like a ce ceiling fumes. light. I mean, so you can put it in a Sunday window. It's fine. If you don't have a window, if you want to put it in that darker room, it's okay there too. Yeah, and the thing is, it, it's so near and dear to us at Roberta's because my great grandmother started the Roberta's company with the totem pole this in 1964. Was your first ever. And it's your, it's your signature plant. Year after year after year, we keep bringing it back. Yeah, and it's so special. We have multiples of these around my father's house. I keep one in my apartment with my wife and daughter. But it's, it's easy to grow. It's low maintenance. You keep it in the corner or on your table. By the time you remember that you need to water it, it's about time because about a month is usually how long people take before they remember they have to water their house plants. Okay, a lot of folks are picking this up. Let me say we have less than 800 left now. Um, when you get this tree stump looking thing, yep. do I have to plant it right away? No. Do I? No. Nope. So if I'm going to get about five of these now, can I just have them sitting there in the shipping box till I want to give it to somebody for their birthday in a couple of months? Do yeah, I need to plant them? I mean, they right won't, you they won't last them. more than about four or five months okay. with the wax yeah, on. So don't leave them sitting there for a year. But if you want to get these now, because remember, when these remaining few hundred sell out, you're not going to see these guys again until next year at this time. So if you want to get these for birthdays for this summer, maybe something in the fall or a graduation gift or a wedding gift or something, get a few now and just stash them. Yeah, and they're so easy to grow. You actually can watch them. Uh, grow every day <coughs> in the water pot, which you're going to have in for six weeks. You can watch the roots get longer. You can watch the leaves start to bud out. It's a really nice project. Mm -hmm. And in three months from the time that you plant it, the time that you receive it at home, you're going to have a full-fledged house plant. So if you get these for one of your grandkids as a summer project and say they started in May, by the end of the summer, they're going to have that guy right there with all the leaves on the top. Not that one, but the one next to it the one that's still in, sitting in the water, that's what they'll have in six weeks. By the end of the summer, they'll have that plant in the brown pot. How cool is that? Yeah, it's really wonderful. In three months. That's neat. All right, we have now fewer than 400 for the season, and we have a lot of people on the phone. So please stay on the lines after the presentation ends now because I want to make sure you get yours. Derek, thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you Robertus, for always bringing these to us every year. That's neat. Okay. My pick of the show coming up now, which is our last item in the show, I've already ordered three sets of these because I know exactly where I'm going to put them. Everywhere. Because they are gorgeous. This is what we call a living quilt. This is a succulent this is a, a succulent ground cover yeah. variety that has four of your favorites included. Cliff Maids, which are my favorite. Also, we have the hens and chicks, which were my grandmother's favorite. Ice plants, which Ice we plants sold out of any other place. Because they have the big flowers on them. Bright neon flowers. And then the fourth one is, I'm sorry, which one is it? The, uh, uh